Hi, I'm going to take you through how to create your own auras using Orasma Studio. This is free, a free service that they provide. Uh, it is software that works directly through your browser and as an educator you can contact them and get some pretty nice perks added to your uh, account so I highly recommend that. So auras consist of a trigger image which is what someone is going to view with their Android or, or iOS device in order to trigger the hidden content. The overlay is the actual hidden content itself and you add overlays to trigger images in order to get auras and we're going to step through that entire process. Let's start with our trigger image. Um, we're going to um, embed a book trailer for Kenneth Opple's This Dark Endeavor into uh, the cover of the book itself. So uh, a little bit earlier with my iPad I took a photo of the cover of This Dark Endeavor. So what I'm doing now is I am just uploading it to directly through the browser as my trigger image. So I'm expecting people to point their devices at the cover of this book. Okay, so it will take a little bit of time for the server to um, catch up with uh, the stuff that you add, but not all that much time. Oh, see, pending, thinking about it, thinking about it, and Okay, while they're doing that, I am going to add the overlay. Again, that is the hidden content that will be triggered when people point their devices at the book cover. Uh, let's see, we're going to be using a book trailer created by a high school student in Canada named Jennifer Anderson. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, it is just a one minute video, so it shouldn't give us too much trouble, shouldn't, you know, be slow to load, anything like that. So I am adding it here. I'm in the overlays tab. Um, and I just want to uh, save what I'm doing. So it'll be added to my library. <clears throat> you will wind up when you are in the Orasmus Studio with libraries, both of overlays and of trigger images. So you can reuse your content. See my trigger image is now complete and ready to be used. Um, so you can pull uh, videos from your overlay and apply them to multiple trigger images. You can uh, use, you know, do uh, reuse a lot of your content. So over here in the Aura workshop, I'm going to create a new Aura. I'm going to link the overlay to the image of the book cover. Where we're going to do that? Start with your Aura details. Mm, this dark endeavor. And then this gives you a drop down menu that takes you to your library, shows you everything that you have available. All auras live in channels. We have our uh, own channel. You, users need to subscribe to your channel to be able to access your content. So I'm just going to add it to our, our public channel. Um, down here in overlays. Let's see if our overlay has finished processing. Again, this is just a drop down menu. Here we go. This dark endeavor. And as you can see, it just it's plopped directly over your trigger image. Okay. This last bit is kind of interesting. It's the properties section of it's you can do some pretty interesting new um, stuff with overlays. Uh, you can loop them, make them play over and over. You can um, have them just, um, you have them link out to a website. You can make something go um, full screen. Um, so what we're going to do is when, uh, when the overlay is double tapped, let's have it go out to a website. I'm just going to use ours. So right off the top of my head. Okay. And I'm going to save that. Okay, and close it. And now you'll see it has been added to my list of auras. And that's really it. Um, all you're going to want to do now is go um, back out to where your trigger image is. In this case, my trigger image is an object. So somebody can point their um, device at this object, this book and the book trailer will start playing. And I'm gonna see if I can grab um, 
a screencast of that. If you have any questions for me, you can reach me at C is in cat, H O M A N, at uvm.edu. Thank you very much for your time.